One of the biggest differences between the Roborock S7 Max V and iRobot Roomba J7 involves general navigation. The S7 Max V uses a laser to navigate very precisely and efficiently around larger obstacles. The J7 doesn't have a laser, but uses a camera instead, which limits its precision and efficiency navigating around larger obstacles. The difference in cleaning precision and efficiency between these two models is clearly demonstrated in our cluttered room navigation test. Note the clean, efficient lines of the S7 Max V versus the much more erratic pathing of the J7. The winner here is the S7 Max V. Both robots use a camera for small obstacle detection and avoidance. The S7 Max V adds a separate front mounted camera, while the J7 uses the same camera it uses for general navigation. Both robots were able to detect and avoid all five of the obstacles we used to test this functionality without issue. And so there is no winner in this category. The S7 Max V and J7 demonstrate very similar performance navigating around smaller obstacles. When it comes to vacuuming, both robots clean most types of surface level debris very well. We see this demonstrated in our carpet stress test and in our hard floor stress test. Both robots also clean edges very well. Again, they tie in performance in all of these categories. We do see a difference in performance once again when we look at deep cleaning and noise output. The S7 Max V picked up 5 grams of 30 grams of fine debris in our carpet deep cleaning test on default power at 61 dB of noise output. It picked up 8 grams on maximum power at 73 dB of noise output. The J7 picked up 6 grams of debris on default power at 65 dB of noise output. It doesn't have any additional power settings. We also see a difference in performance when these robots pick up different types of hair. The J7 has the advantage when it comes to longer hair. Both robots have bristleless brush rolls, but the J7 has two brush rolls instead of one. The S7 Max V's single brush roll tangles very easily with longer hair despite not having bristles. The J7's two bristleless brush rolls tangle less easily with longer hair. The S7 Max V has the advantage when it comes to shorter hair. It has no trouble picking up tufts of shorter hair. The J7 does have trouble picking up tufts of shorter hair. It sometimes runs right over them or pushes them around without picking them up. Several tufts of hair were also left behind under the robot when we picked it up after this test. When it comes to mopping, the S7 Max V comes with a mop attachment and can mop very well. The J7 doesn't come with a mop attachment and isn't compatible with one. You have to upgrade to the much more expensive Combo J7 to get mopping functionality. The S7 Max V is also compatible with the Roborock Ultra Dock which on top of automatically emptying its dustbin, also automatically cleans its mopping pad and refills its reservoir. Even the Combo J7 is not compatible with this type of dock. iRobot doesn't even yet make a dock with this functionality. Both robots are compatible with docking stations that only automatically empty their dustbins. The Plus Dock from Roborock and the Clean Base from iRobot. Wrapping things up, the S7 Max V is slightly larger than the J7, it also has a higher capacity battery with longer maximum battery life. It does have a smaller dustbin though than the J7. In terms of general recommendations, there's certainly pros and cons to buying either robot. The S7 Max V navigates better in general and has multiple power settings so it can be set to deep clean carpet better on maximum power or be set to run more quietly on a lower power setting. It also picks up shorter tufts of hair better. The standard S7 Max V can also mop and is compatible with an automatic mop cleaning docking station. It also has better battery life. The J7 deep cleans carpet slightly better on default power, doesn't tangle as easily with longer hair, has a larger dustbin, and is usually considerably cheaper. This last point is the most critical. The J7 is the better mid-range option. It's much more affordable, though it can't mop, and isn't compatible with an automatic mop cleaning docking station. The S7 Max V is the better premium option if you have the need and the budget for its more premium features. See the description of this video for links to buy these robots as well as a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend and thank you for watching.